Hi, welcome, welcome to Matoka TV. Matoka TV channel is a gospel channel that brings to you the solid word of God from your favorite ministers. Apostle Michael Olobo, Apostle Alome Osai, Pastor Pascal Tukode, and etc. Well, in this video, we will show you some of Apostle Michael Olobo series. Please listen carefully. Make sure you watch this video to the end. Uh, the instruction you need to follow to unveil your spiritual eyes by Apostle Michael Olobo. So please make sure if you are trusting God to uh, for your spiritual eyes to open, this video is for you. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. All right. Let's go straight to the clip. Does. Number one is to activate your spiritual senses because everything you will have is at the mercy of your consciousness. Paul said in Ephesians 1 17, For this cause I pray, pray for the church in Ephesus, that the eyes of your understanding may be enlightened, that you may know the things that are freely the exceeding riches of the things that were given to you. If your eyes are not open, there is no way you can have all you need. You can be crying over what is just beside you until your eyes are open. These guys walked with Jesus on the way to Emmaus in Luke 24 and they were talking with Jesus and they didn't know he was the one until he broke bread and the moment their eyes opened that was when they could interpret what was going on in their spirit did our hearts not burn when he speak a man can be walking with the solution of the whole world but his eyes are not open so he doesn't know a man can carry the answer to Abiyokuta but he doesn't know because his eyes are not open but when his eyes open suddenly he will say I knew this all the while so the reason you are where you are it's not because you don't have the solution the world is looking for. It's because there is an activation that is here to take place. A man who is supposed to be addressing nations can be languishing in obscurity because his eyes are not yet open. When the Holy Ghost is poured out, there is something he does. He opens your eyes. The cruise of oil in your house can be the solution you are looking for, but it takes an opening. You may be crying, seeking water, but there may be a well by your side and you may not see it. And you are almost dying until your eyes open what is it that god has given to you that you have not seen when the outpouring comes which will happen in the course of this conference your eyes will open and you will see it because the holy ghost come to quicken our understanding he said in john 16 13 i have many things to tell you but you cannot receive it how be it when the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into all reality you may have everything you need but you need to be guided through it to know what to do what to take and what to start with it takes an opening it takes an unveiling it takes an opening sometimes there is money somewhere there is a business proposal somewhere there is a man somewhere you can access all three the holy ghost will come and tell you call this person and as you call this person you just call him to greet him the person talks to you about the proposal and he says it carelessly and then you know God was talking about something like that and you discuss it with him and you get the money all of those things were already in your sphere but it takes opening of eyes and that opening of eyes just came in the form of call this person life is very simple the only problem is that life is a puzzle it takes the unveiling of the Holy Spirit to make you see that puzzle and so many people are walking in the midst of gold but they are looking for gold many people are walking in the midst of power they are looking for power if that outpouring begins to take place you may not fall under the anointing brothers and sisters because that's not the only manifestation of the spirit while others are falling under the anointing you may just sit down and the business plan begins to open in your mind if you are smart you begin to write because you have to write the vision and make it plain upon tables Many will be falling under the anointing and suddenly the Holy Ghost is giving you an instruction and then you are following. You are walking into your high places. That's what the Holy Ghost comes to do, to open your understanding. The Bible said in Luke 24 that Jesus came to them and he breathed upon them the breath of life and he opened their understanding 
that they may know the scripture. There are many scriptures you have quoted for 10 years, you've not seen any result. It takes an opening. And so when the sound comes, what it does is that it opens your understanding. And then suddenly, you know what to do. Suddenly, you begin to see reality. And then, you know, sometimes when God wants to make these things beautiful, it happens in an unexpected manner. Some people may even be in the service, they fell under their, under their anointing, the power of God moved for one hour, and it looked as if nothing happened to you. And while you are on your way home, that's when your own angel comes. And then he begins to talk into your ears. He just begins to discuss with you. You didn't receive your, receive your impartation in the hall, but you received it notwithstanding. And if you can discern, then you know that you can have anything you want. It takes discernment. And this outpouring provokes that level of discernment. I tell you, most of the problems we have is a problem of a lack of discernment. But when there is a sound from heaven, there's an outpouring. When there is an outpouring, the eyes of your understanding is illuminated. It's a natural reality. Jesus didn't say we should pray for the sick. He said just touch them, it's enough. When you touch them, they are healed. What is that realm? It is a realm of empowerment. He said when I sent you out, did you go with anything? No. He said did you lack anything? No. That means everywhere you go, it becomes your property and your possession. If you step into a biokuta, you have a stake here. You have inheritance, an inheritance here because there's an empowerment that will cause the resources of this land to gravitate in your direction. Men struggle because there's no empowerment of the spirit. When the spirit comes upon a man, one of the proof is that there is empowerment. When, wow, they, when the upper hear room and they heard a sound from heaven, you, something happened. These Clark. were men that locked themselves away Deep in fear. Leverage. But suddenly, there was an outpouring. And, and as they stepped died. out, they stepped out fearlessly. If you saw them a day before, you will not believe these were the guys. The same guys that were hidden behind closed doors. You will be amazed. Something had taken place. They went straight into the market and began to speak in tongues. Created all the attention. And then they began to preach and to prophesy. And they were not afraid of talking about Jesus. How can a man be crucified a few days ago? Because he was considered to be the threat of society. And then you don't just identify with that man. You are now entreating people to come and follow that man. Are you mad? Something has gone wrong. But that thing that went wrong, went wrong for good. And they did not stop there. They went from Jerusalem to Judea, to Samaria, and to the uttermost part of the earth because an empowerment come. Think about it for a second. These guys had nothing. They left their families. They left their jobs. They had nothing. They were so empty that all of them were in one room. I don't know how big the room was, but I imagine how they were sleeping. Because they were locked out for at least 10 days. They had nothing until all they have was themselves. But suddenly, men who had nothing, they stepped out and the sick was healed. And the Bible said, people sold lands and brought the money to the apostles' feet. And these men that had nothing became so big a company that they had a congregation of a city around them. So much so that there were departments they had to ordain deacons to take care of people that needed to eat food. Where did that transformation come from? It is the outpouring of the spirit. It provokes empowerment. This empowerment is not just spiritual empowerment where you start healing the sick. It is financial. It is economical. It is mental. That's why to today, the things that fishermen wrote, we have not been able to understand it. They looked at them. They said, these are unlearned men. How can this man, do you know most of the theology that is studied in advanced institutions of the world, Oxford, Cambridge, Harvard, the foundation was written by fishermen. Professors are now studying. Sometimes somebody will tell you, I have a PhD in the New Testament. I have a PhD in the Petrine Epistle. What a fisherman wrote. You studied it until you have a PhD <laughs> and you have not finished. That's mental power. A whole university is studying what a fisherman wrote as a course. What kind of power is that? It's mental power. And they didn't stop there. The Bible said they put the sick on the street. Acts 5.15 That Peter will walk by and that the shadow of Peter 
the shadow of Peter will fall upon them and the sick were healed. What kind of power is that? Even Jesus himself didn't heal with shadow. But you know what Jesus said? He said when the Holy Ghost comes, he said greater works than these. That means there are dimensions that Jesus did not explore. He left it for us. <laughs> the Bible said Paul wrought God wrought mighty miracles through the hands of Paul that handkerchiefs and aprons that means Pastor Shola invites me and I say uh, man of God I'm sorry sir um, I can't come but uh, please uh, use this hanky for the healing service <laughs> can you imagine what, what it will sound like you now come for a conference and then they tell you, sorry, Pastor Shola couldn't come. He had an engagement, but he sent his handkerchief. He will be like, what do you mean? When you finish saying, what do you mean? They will say, let's begin with those that have cancer. And then you will still be there despising the handkerchief. Until four people with cancer come and they touch it and fall and the cancer vanishes. You will now say, wait, what is happening here? That handkerchief, they will have to divide it into one million pieces. Because one must enter my home. <laughs> These were the dimensions that these guys were working in. Paul has invitations, he sends handkerchief. And the handkerchief will do much more than Paul would have done if he's there. You know why? Because when Paul is there, at some point, Paul will become tired. They will say he wants to rest. Handkerchief doesn't get tired. <laughs> if Paul is there, at a point, Paul might be he might just say, okay, because of time, let's stop the service. Handkerchief doesn't know time. So the handkerchief can continue working till the next day. And even when the service is over, they can keep the handkerchief. It will still be working. So supernatural power became a normal thing. They were so full of this, this dimension of the spirit that anything they thought about, they animated. That's why Paul said, even though we are not rich, he said we make men rich that means the reason we are not rich is a posture that we took if they say you are blessed if you like doubt it you are blessed a man comes to a realm where he doesn't need your faith because in fact at every realm you need people's faith because if you need people's faith at every realm how will you pray for the dead man if they say you are blessed you are blessed it may look simple at least that one, I've seen it in Pastor, Pastor E. Adeboe. There are meetings, heavy conferences that people will fast for 10 days to come and minister. And then he will send a clip. And sometimes the clip is two minutes. Because it's not about the time. It's about the energy that is communicated. <laughs> Most times you come for meeting, people are shouting and dancing. He will just be true in tongues. And when it comes, he doesn't notice the atmosphere. He will need that when he's done praying. He will now read one verse and say, That is your portion. Go if you like, be believe it God. or not, when you go, it will happen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory be to Master Jesus. The reason is because the Holy Ghost comes to make you a superman. Glory be to God. He said, You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, God's own special people, called forth to showcase. The excellencies of God. Wow. wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your time. We really appreciate. We really appreciate. Are we home? Thank you so much for joining us at Matoka TV channel. If there is any sermon you need, drop it. Drop it on the commission below. We promise we will get back to you. Thank you so much and remember, God bless. This is Matoka TV, a gospel channel that brings to you a solid word of God from your favorite ministers, Apostle on our side, Pastor Pascal Chukwode, Apostle Michael. Thank you. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you, my brothers.